Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. A stunning main island with a population of just 90 is appealing to new residents to live there. Alo Oat is encouraging people to settle permanently on the remote, 13 square mile island which is only accessible by boat. But for anyone looking to escape the rat race, the idyllic community could be the perfect spot. And with adorable clabbered homes offered at below market rates there are bargains to be snapped up. Many people daydream about moving to a remote island village like ours. For those readers who can answer yes to the above question, that daydream could very well become a reality, the community states on its website. To sustain a vibrant year-round community, we readily welcome new year-round residents. Families with children who could attend the local school, as well as commercial fishermen are particularly sought after. Though it's not everyone's cup of tea, it's ours. And who knows, it may very well be yours, the ILO Oak Community Development Corporation states. The median price for a typical home on ILO Oats' most affordable street is around $300,000, according to Realtor. By comparison, an average home elsewhere in Maine sold for a median of $391,000 in April. However, island life is not without its challenges which include having to take a ferry to the nearest medical center or hardware store. While a U.S. census put the population at 92 in 2020, locals say there are just between 30 to 40 full-time residents. In the summer months this swells to 300 as tourists flock to take advantage of the rugged natural beauty and biking trails. But IDC volunteer Molly Siegel told the Boston Globe that experiencing a winter with its beach bonfires and book clubs is what truly makes you an islander. By the time you emerge on the other side of your first winter, you look back at the time that you spent with people, she said. Those are those essential, foundational experiences that make you a part of the community. For full-time islanders, there is a post office manned by a postmistress who works four hours per day, a church, town hall, island store, and several artisanal businesses. The local school offers grades K-8, with students having to travel to Deer Isle for the nearest high school. However, high schoolers continue to receive support from the community. Whether a graduating student goes to a nearby public high school or a private boarding school, the town contributes toward tuition costs, the website states. Dakota Waters is a newcomer to Alo Oat Newcomer and has lived on the island since April. As of Friday, I start on a lobster boat, Waters, who moved from Northboro, told the Boston Globe. I've never lobstered, fished, or been on a boat a day in my life. Once he posted about news of his family's relocation water was inundated with help moving from other islanders. This included locals turning up at the ferry port with a truck to help him move in as well as taking his child to school for the first two weeks. You're going out to go tromp through the woods, go see if you can get some sea glass and some seashells off a beach, said Waters. It's everything that a child would grow up and see as a wonderland. Allo Oat is not for those who need to eat out every day or catch the latest movie, Siegel says. But there is plenty to keep locals busy, with many giving up their time to help the community by joining the local fire brigade or taking up leadership positions. Most recently a recruitment drive filled affordable housing options on the island, but there are still home available including one 800-square-foot one-bedroom property for $249,000. Life on the island requires a certain amount of self-sufficiency, creativity, and practicality, the IDC said. While life here doesn't always qualify as easy, it certainly qualifies as unique.